All right, the videos you're about to watch with the Chevette restoration and my brother killing a turkey at around four yards, laying in the middle of an open field, were both recorded on a camera that I had ordered off of Amazon that I thought was a good quality professional camera. It, in fact, was not, and you'll see in these videos of the glitchiness and the terrible audio and terrible video quality that the camera was not good. Um, I got rid of that camera shortly after, well actually the day my brother killed that turkey, we tried to rewatch the footage and realized you couldn't hardly tell what was going on. Um, you can tell enough through clips of what's going on, which is why I'm going to keep these videos and I still want to post them because they're pretty cool and then the Chevette one um, is important to what's going to be happening on my YouTube channel for a while. Um, so I'm keeping these. The video camera I have now, I bought the same day as my brother killed that turkey when I realized that the other camera was garbage. This one I've been extremely happy with. Um, I like the quality and the audio and it's been a lot better. So the next videos and half of the Chevette video will be bad and then it'll go into the better quality stuff. But until then, um, I know the camera quality is terrible. The videos are just important enough that I still want to post. So, thanks. Enjoy. Alright, so, I got a new camera, mostly for turkey season, but, uh, I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, but, I'm doing a little bit of work to something that I plan on being a big part of, uh, what I do on YouTube or anything. And that is, uh, my car here. So today... I'm going to be trying to restore some paint a little bit on my 1984 Chevette. So uh, I got this car in high school. I'd always wanted one. And my intentions with this one is to be a street drag car. Um, I'm going to have a twin turbo 4BT Cummins that's going to go in this thing with a not sure on the tranny yet, either a built Dodge tranny or maybe power glide setup, I'm not sure yet. But uh, today I'm going to be doing from the trim down. I saw some videos on this rust -Oleum turbo stuff, it's supposed to work really good. I talked to a few people I know that do body work and they said that it does way better than expected. But uh, I plan on getting this car professionally painted later on. But as you can see, I'm in Indiana and rust happens and it's starting to eat holes in it. So right there, there's a little hole in the fender as well. So I'm just kind of wanting to do some rust prohibited stuff, keeping it away. Um, you can see this side, it's got a little bit too in the doors and fender in there. I just uh, last weekend freshly painted the bumper, front bumper straightened it out because I'm not sure if you can see in here see how the grass the glass here you can see it better from the inside the glass is shattered the guy who owned this car before me um, hit a deer and shattered that and the bumper was real tweaked and bent and I got that to come out so that looks nice and happy with that and uh, the, valence, the valence panel down here, you can notice that's gone. Um, it was busted when I got it from the deer, and then I recently hit a possum. So that one's not going to make it long. And uh, also something else, what my car's known for around where I live is for being really loud. It's uh, got a big... Um, I'm 6'1", and my hand is big. It's got a giant 8-inch exhaust tip. It's 3-inch exhaust, so it's loud. Um, but recently, uh, me and my girlfriend went and bought another Chevette. This one is quite a bit nicer. Um, it's under a cover right now. I'm not going to uncover the whole thing quite yet. But... I mean, just to give you a, a little bit of a look, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a 
very nice car. You kind of see in there, I don't have the keys or I'd show you, but everything in this car is like new. And well, after she got that and driving around town, makes mine look bad. So I'm gonna try to make mine look a little better. I'm gonna do from the trim down. That way, if there is a big significance in the different colors of white, um, at least the trim will set it off differently, make it look a little better. And uh, yeah, so I plan on going to drag week with this car and possibly running some really fast passes. I want to make at least 800 horse when I get done with everything and that should be fairly easy to do. So uh, I'm going to try and fix some rust holes as well as repaint. So I got a sander and some sandpaper. I've got some fine, some coarse, some primer. I'm gonna freshen up some wheels and stuff too. So yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys and give you some updates. Just doing a little practice video with the new camera. So we'll see how it goes. Alright, so uh, now I've got the rear rims of both cars out. I'm going to put some fresh paint on them. Um, so, but that way I can do a set of four for each. Be, you know, keeping up time, being efficient. Um, so, I'm going to get these done here. Got my roll of paper here I'm gonna roll around the rest of the tire just want to make sure I got a nice fit around the bead so I can get paint around the whole bead that way rust doesn't start so I'm gonna get these sanded down and painted and I'll be right back all right well um, pretty much done with the rims I am uh, unpacking all those I think they look good has some gloss and then I got ahead of myself before I got by the camera and I started sanding down and papered off the bumper and sauce tip. So I just went through with the coarse. I'm going to come back with the fine. And then uh, hit it with some paint. So I'll catch you when all that's done too. So right here. We got the rims done. They all look good. Nice, shiny, and glossy. It's uh, cloudy out, so... They're not shining too good. And then the bumper is almost done. Uh, I got one more coat on the bumper, and that'll be done. And right now, I'm working on getting the door handle sanded down to metal. I'm going to get all the door handles done. And then I'm going to tape off everything. But because I'm doing this back here and all some of that stuff, um, I can't go ahead and tape everything off yet because... It'll be on everything. So I'm going to wait until I get these coats done. And I'm just trying to keep moving. And uh, not waste any time. So if there's something I can do while I'm waiting, I'm going to do it. So just trying to keep efficient. So I'll give you another update in a second. Alright, so uh, here I'll show you the finished product of the wheels. I think that looks quite nice. Blue skies are coming out now, so they're starting to shine a little better. And then uh, the bumper here, that looks good too. So um, now I'm just doing handles. And uh, hopefully, here in a minute. Um, I'm going to actually take these wheels and you got another probably 30 minutes before they're completely dry. Um, and then I'm going to take those, put them back on the rear, and then take the fronts off of both cars, sand them down and paint them. So, wish me luck. Alright, so I kind of forget where I left off. Started working again and got ahead of myself. But, uh, <clears throat> I got. The door handles painted. They look good. Uh, I got the tires that we painted. They look good. 
bumpers done. There's one of the other tires. And there is uh, the other handles. And uh, then we got the front tires off of this car and that other car over here. We're going to get these sanded up and painted. And then we should be good from there. Uh, as you can see, a few hours have went by. I've been sanding and sanding and sanding. And I just put three coats of primer on here now. You can still see some of it. Those rust holes, I'm not just going to leave like that and that fender part right there. But I'm waiting to find a scrap chevette that I can steal corners of doors and fenders off of. Um, this side, uh, I've got about two coats of primer on after sanding everything down. So it's almost mostly all white again instead of gray. And uh, you can still see where major spots were that I had to really grind out, get the rust out. I'm gonna put another coat of primer on here and start painting. 